tough day, little pal. I can really use some shut eye. Hey. Good night, Mr. Callahan. Good night, Dusty. Good night, Andy. Good night, Dusty. Enough of the good nights already, huh? Get <laughs> some sleep. Sure thing. Good night, Lulu and Betsy. <laughs> Please, can we get some sleep? Hmm. Holy smoke. Holy smoke what? Good night, Mr. and Mrs. Brookhaven. <laughs> now, does that cover everybody? <laughs> Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Doesn't take him very long, does it? <laughs> A killer tornado. <laughs> Brookhaven, doing your morning exercises, huh? No, I'm just checking my wallet. Good morning, Gusty. Good morning, Mrs. Brookhaven. You know, it's quite warm today. Would you ask Mr. Callahan to please head north? Uh, Mrs. Brookhaven, we're headed for California. That's west. Not northern California. <laughs> Get out of here, Pronto. What's wrong? What's wrong? Listen, what do you hear? I hear a lot of ringing. No, no, the air. It's warm. Uh, a little touch of moisture, slight breeze. You think we're in for a storm? Worse than that, a killer tornado. But it's such a nice day. That's how killer tornadoes start. Everything is beautiful, and then all of a sudden, wham, bam! I hate tornadoes. I had an uncle once who lived in Kansas City who once got caught by a tornado. I thought your uncle lived in Cleveland. That was before the tornado. Yeah, yeah, well, never mind about that. Get the horses, will you? Right. If we don't make it a hidden canyon and a double, I'll tell you we're in a lot of trouble. The Sullivan party was wiped out on this very same trail. How much time do you figure we got before it hit? I don't know, day, day and a half, maybe. I better alert the Brookhaven. Good idea, good thinking. I'll go check the map. We got to get to hidden canyon. Ha, ha, girls, secure everything in there. We have got to roll and fast. Oh, good. I just love to feel that cool breeze on my face. You're going to feel a breeze, all right. Is there some kind of problem? No, not if I can find that shortcut to Hidden Canyon. Now, tell me. Yeah. Horses are all set, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, maybe they're all set, but we're not. What do you mean? I can't find a map. A map to Hidden Canyon. Oh. God. All right. One map we got to Hidden Canyon. It's lost. Oh, Jeff. A killer tornado? Are you sure? Just look up there. I'm telling you something. If that tornado hits this wagon train, we're going to be picked up and blown around like a feather. I just did my hair. Don't worry about your hair. Believe me, if that tornado hits, all we got to do is find the map. Well, couldn't we just leave without the map? Look, I'm going to tell you, that map's got to be around here someplace. The wind must have blown it away. We'll help you look for it. Do you smell something? Like something burning. <gasps> oh, oh. Al, your blanket. <laughs> you can wear it like this. Never mind the blanket. Let's just go find the map. Or we're going to be blown all the way to Laredo. Laredo? Where's Laredo? It's in Texas, about 800 miles south. Never mind, just help me find the map. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what we'll do, little pal. You go over that way, and I'll go over this way. It's got to be around here someplace, huh? Ah, boy. <laughs> oh, Lulu. Oh, I can see you didn't find a map, either, did you? Sorry, Cal. Hey, what's the matter? What are you walking like that for? I threw a shoe. 
You're really worried about that old tornado, aren't you? I'll tell you something, honey. You put my worries on a scale from 1 to 10, they measure about 15. <laughs> Mr. Callahan, look what I found. An old cavalry canteen and some ancient Indian jewelry, which is quite valuable, I suppose. And I found these luscious-looking blueberries. They're going to be marvelous with cream if I can find a cow. Hey, don't you remember we're supposed to be looking for a map? Oh, yes, I've forgotten that tornado. Let's have another look for that map, dear. The scale just went to 20, has to It's not a sign of the map anywhere. Look, why can't we just start riding without it? Honey, we got to find Hidden Canyon, and we got no chance, and I need the map to... Mr. Callahan, my gold locket's missing. Are you sure? I'm positive. She's right. We're looking for the map, and there was her gold locket. Gone. It was my great-great-grandmother's. That's odd. Now, first the map is missing, now the gold locket is now, wait missing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You think there's a connection? Oh, sure. Whoever stole the gold locket wrapped it up in the map. Just a... <laughs> yeah? No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, Betsy. We'll look for your locket. Uh... They can look for the map. <laughs> You're really sure about this tornado? As sure as my name is Callahan, Andy. Believe me when I... Uh... Hi, Harry. You want some baked beans? <laughs> Harry? What's the matter with you? You crazy? Birds don't eat baked beans. <laughs> this one does. <laughs> that bird lives over 200 miles from his natural habitat. Now, he's scared of something, and I'll bet it's that tornado. I know. You're right about that. You know, animals and birds, they have an instinct about these things. Hey, man, I mean to tell you, we got to find that map pronto. Hey, what's the matter with you? You crazy? We got to get going. We got to find that map. Yeah, but I just want to give him some beans. Here, hold this for a minute, will you? Ah! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh. My emerald, my koali emerald, it's gone. Oh, Daphne, please remember, calm down. It's a show. Carter? It's your insurance company. Good heavens, so it is. It's all a commotion. Did you find the map? Uh, Mrs. Brookhaven's emerald is missing. Everything seems to be missing. I think my belt buckle is gone. What makes you think that? This. <laughs> Dusty, for crying out loud, would you cover up? I heard a scream. Yeah, well, Miss Brookhaven here lost an emerald, and he's lost a belt buckle. Yeah, but I thought I heard a scream. You did, so when I raised my hands like this. <laughs> Please. Callahan, can I see you for a moment? Yeah, sure. Excuse us, will you? And Dusty, keep your hands in your pockets. <laughs> what is it, Andy? Look, there's something strange going on around here. My college ring is missing. Lulu just reported one of her earrings gone, and, and there's Betsy's locket. There's got to be a thief around here someplace. Exactly. Yeah. Well, why would he steal a map? That has no value. No, on the contrary, a map's got great value. While we're out looking for the map, he figures we'll stay put in one place. Oh, well, the varmint picks us clean. But there's one thing he may not know about, about the tornado. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, we got him there. A tornado come along and blow, <laughs> yeah, blow him away with the rest of us. Unless we catch him first and get the map back. Ah, maybe if we leave out something of value where he can see it, we might trap him. Good idea. You know, maybe Miss Brookhaven will give us something valuable from her jewel box as a decoy. No, no, she's screaming like a wounded coyote now over that emerald. Unless, uh... Unless what? <laughs> You keep the girls busy for a little while. I got me an idea. You want me to talk to the book evens? That's right. But get them away from the coach before you do it. Wait till I'm through. Through with what? Well, never mind. I'll tell you later, because if I told you, now you'd talk to them about that. I'm not very good at keeping secrets. No. <laughs> Just get them away from the coach and keep them for about five minutes. Five minutes? Nobody's ever talked to me for that long, especially the Brookhavens. What am I going to talk about? I don't know. Whatever you've got in common. In common with the Brookhavens? Yeah. I know just the thing. Oh. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brookhaven, I hate to disturb you when you're resting, but... Oh, we're simply exhausted from searching for that map. Well, I want to talk to you about something. During our period of exhaustion? Oh, yeah, well, it's very important, or I wouldn't, you know, interrupt your period of exhaustion. Oh, very well, Darcy. What is it you want to discuss? Well, I can't talk about it here. It's a very private thing. Couldn't we talk about it over there? Well, it's so comfortable here. Couldn't we discuss it here? Certainly. We have no secrets from the others, so whatever it is you have to say, speak up. I want to talk to you about my life savings. <laughs> Daphne. Dusty wishing to discuss money. Uh, come along, dear. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> now then, 
something nasty. Uh, what was that about your life savings? I was thinking about putting them in a bank. Oh, Mr. Brookhaven owns many banks. Oh, yeah. Some of the branches of my banks have branches of their own. <laughs> like a money tree. <laughs> But are they safe from robbers? Impenetrable. Yeah, but are they safe? Mr. Brookhaven means that our banks and all our strong boxes are under lock and key. <laughs> but what if somebody tries to break the lock? A Brookhaven safety steel guaranteed for life lock? Huh, impossible. <laughs> oh, see, Dusty. You need have no fear when you deal with the Brookhaven Bank. Our strong boxes have never been entered. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll give you my life savings. Ah. It's right here in my piggy bank. <laughs> piggy bank? Good heavens, Carter, don't touch it. Things are such unclean creatures. Picky bank indeed. Come, Daphne. <laughs> Handy. Hey, look what I got. Isn't that a sparkler? Oh, huh? It's a perfect decoy. Hey, I'll bet you that's worth a lot of money. Hey, I'll just put that over there. And then tonight, they'll catch the firelight and sparkle. We'll catch that thief. <laughs> hey, Callahan, look. What? What? Well, there hadn't been anybody here. It we're, couldn't possibly... We're, we're up against a real criminal. I know, and I'm going to be up against a very mad Mrs. Brookhaven. Uh, all right, wait a minute. No, I know what to do. Tonight, we will set a trap for that thief. A real trap. Uh, all right. Yeah. Get it off of it. Get it off of it. We got it. Wait. Dusty! <laughs> Sit still and yeah. let us get this thing off oh. of you, Dusty. Thanks for getting that fish net off me. That's not a fish net. That was a trap. For our mysterious thief. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it was you, Dusty, that... But, well, never mind. Give a salute. Okay, I admit it. You caught me in the act. Hey, bread? What's, what's bread? For Harry. Who's Harry? That's the bird. You know, he likes baked beans and bread. Dusty! <laughs> what about the valuables? And the map. That's the most important thing. The map and the valuables? Yeah, we've got to get the map to get back on the trail. Before the tornado hits. Well, that's a pretty terrific idea, but there's only one problem. What? I don't have any of those things. Dusty. If you don't believe me, you can search. <laughs> More bread? Harry has quite an appetite. Damn! That's my fish hook. Now you tell me, huh? Now he's right. There's nothing here. Mr. Callahan, I'm innocent. Hold it. Now maybe Dusty's telling the truth, and maybe he's guilty, too. What are you talking about? I remember reading in a medical journal about some people who have this unstoppable desire to steal things, even from their closest friends. It's called kleptomania. I've never even been to that country. <laughs> now, kleptomania is a sickness. Now, basically, these are honest people, but they block this from their mind like it never happened. Well, you mean he could have taken those things from us and not even know it? Exactly. Now, I know a little about hypnosis. I could put Dusty under. Under what? Put him to sleep. Oh. To see if unconsciously he's avoiding the truth. Dusty, do you really think you took those things from us? I don't know. But if I didn't know, maybe I did know that I didn't know that I did know. <laughs> that I knew. That I know that I didn't know. Remember, Dusty, we're your friends. We want to help you. Did you find anything out yet? Yeah, we found out that when he's unconscious, he's just the same as when he's conscious. Well, I'm going to keep looking for the map. One, two, three. <laughs> hi, Dusty. Hi. Hey, hi there, little pal. Hi. Dusty, I want you to tell us everything you did yesterday. Sure. Well, now, what did you do after you watered the horses? Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> hi. Right. What did you do after you didn't water the horses? I tried to fix the harness. Harness? I accidentally caught on the spokes of the wheel. Oh, yeah, that's what happened to the... 
Now, Dusty, this is very important. Did you enter the Brookhaven's coach at any time? Yes. Ah, uh -uh, there you are. If he went in the coach and took the jewels, he also took the map. Dusty, why did you go in the Brookhaven's coach? To put out the fire. <laughs> fire? The one that started when I dropped the lantern. <laughs> <laughs> It's so sad, Carter. My dear, with the tornado approaching, we must make final arrangements. Please read it back to me. To my board of directors, as my last act on this earth, I leave the bulk of my estate to the Massachusetts home for millionaires. <laughs> The rich are always discriminated against. <laughs> you see that? I can't even play mumbly peg right. Dusty, stop condemning yourself. Everybody's going to be killed by that tornado, and it's all my fault. Dusty, you're wrong. Andy said you didn't remember stealing a thing. Well, maybe I'm so good at covering my tracks, I don't even know I'm the thief. Hey, you want something to eat? Yeah, how about a steak, some hash browns, and a big slice of apple pie? Ah, uh, you know we don't have that kind of stuff. I thought a condemned man got anything he wanted. You're not a condemned man. You haven't done anything wrong. Maybe I have, and maybe I haven't. <gasps> Dusty, look! On top of your head, a big bird! The one you were feeding. No, oh, girl, you don't have to cheer me up. It's no use. The map! He's got the map! Well, what's going on here? <gasps> Mr. Callahan, look, the raven. He's got the map. I can see he's got the map. Don't anybody move. <laughs> Follow that bird. He's probably got our jewelry, too. Stand back, everybody. Hey, don't shoot him, Mr. Callahan. I'm not going to shoot him. I'm just going to scare him so he'll drop the map. He's my friend. Let me talk to him. <laughs> well, if anybody knows what's going on in a bird's brain, he does. <laughs> Hey, look at this. My locket. Yeah. My earring. Oh, and everything else that was missing. Well, get the map. Oh, yeah. Here's some more bread, some baked beans, and... Ugh, he eats worms. Well, hurry up and get the map. Mr. Callahan, look. What? <laughs> yeah, but he's still got the map. Don't worry, I'll get it. Oh, Harry. Nice, Harry. Don't eat the map, Harry. Let me have it. Come on, boy. Come on, I'll give you a whole slice of bread. Center cut with a worm. <laughs> Cave. All right, you get Mrs. Brookhaven in the coach and, and pull and secure all those grapes, will you? Hey, hey, hey. All right, look, we're going to pull out of here as soon as he gets back with a map. Tie that thing down. All right. Mr. Hey, Callahan, come what? quick. I got Harry trapped in the cave with what? a map. Cave? What cave? Over there behind those rocks. Yeah. It's too late now. Look. All right. Everybody in the cave. Come on, girls.
I did. How's everybody in here? Yeah, just a little cold. Yes, it is frightfully drafty. Well, at least we're safe. Yeah, well, thanks to Dusty here for finding this cave. Me? Don't thank me. Thank my friend Harry. He's the one who found the cave. <laughs> hey, it looks like he's trying to give us back that map, Andy. Oh, looks like he wanted us to follow him in here on purpose. <laughs> hey, maybe it's... Maybe it's his way of repaying Dusty for feeding him and saving his life. Yeah, too bad we can't give him some kind of reward, huh? Too bad I don't have my checkbook handy. <laughs> I've got something for him. Yeah. <laughs> Used to be a piece of bread. <laughs> oh, Dusty, that's a pretty crummy reward. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, your nest is back the way it was, and you got two days' worth of supply of bread. Hey, Dusty, come on. I got the coach and the wagon all fixed. We gotta move. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Now go ahead and say goodbye to Harry. Oh, it's not Harry anymore. It's Harriet. Oh, come. <laughs> Look what I found in the nest. <laughs> uh, come on. Goodbye, mother. <laughs>